to my channel. So I've been wanting to kind of do a little bit of a deep dive talking about what quality is. I feel like because there's so much fast fashion out there that there is just like a lack of knowledge on what is expensive and why things are cheap. From my friends and people in my life, they'll say, oh, like I don't know why I would ever pay, you know, XYZ dollars for something when I can get the same thing on Amazon or I can get the same thing on Sheen or whatever. And the truth is, you just can't. At a glance, yes, okay, you see like a t-shirt and you think, oh, I could get that for $5 versus 50 or whatever. But the truth is there's so much to it and there is a reason why things are priced a certain way, etc., etc., etc. So I wanted to kind of do a little bit of a class, if you will. So welcome to quality class. So a little background on me if you're new here. I work in fashion design. I went to school for product development. So I do a lot of stuff with clothes and costing and I really understand like a reason why something becomes expensive or not. So I pulled a bunch of stuff from my closet over here, right? I'll show you one thing and then like a cheaper version of it and like how those compare. But obviously I pulled like a thousand things and I stopped myself. So I'm just gonna pull out like a few of my favorite items from here and show you how they're expensive and the construction on them and that way when you go thrifting or shopping you can look at garments yourself and decide like is it worth the cost it's sunday i'm a little hungover I had to get the diet coke let's begin with dress number one new with tags i haven't worn it yet i got it in a sample sale originally it retails at 3.98 from the intermix so there's her okay and then we have a dress from zara i got this a few years ago and also like these are my clothes so like i don't really buy anything that i feel like is low quality but you know in the beginning of my career maybe i would shop a little bit more like zara and places like that i like the items that i have but i also can recognize when something is more of a high quality i'm not saying these clothes are bad i'm just trying to have something to compare like high and low okay the reason this dress is high cost is because it's 100 linen fabric is like the most expensive thing in any garment so there is a cost to you know trims the sewing of it like how much work goes into each piece like how much does the factory need to sew etc so there is like a cost of the the making the garments this is 100 linen so this was probably a yard like six or seven dollars and this is not linen it just like, has a linen, little bit of a linen vibe to it and it was probably like two or three dollars a yard so it's 53 percent linen and 47 percent cotton so not 100 percent linen like this so 100 percent linen expensive not 100 percent linen cheaper the other thing is this is obviously very plain there's no trim there's no little ruffle placket it's very much just an easy v like the only thing about it is it has you know this inside facing versus being doubled or lined and it's an elastic sleeve it's like a puff it gets still super super cute but there's just not as much to it in comparison to this which has like this beautiful ruffled collar it has an entire neckband and placket there's the ladder trim detail down the front each tier all the way around and there's these little pin tucks and stuff so this alone adds like it, it at least doubles the price of it you know to make it so that's why it's so expensive and the end goal is kind of the same but ultimately the trims and everything make it more expensive and instead of elastic sleeves it has like a little cuff with a little button right so that's why this one is a little bit more expensive something to look at when you are thrifting is always the content of the fabric and then how much is going on with it right i'll keep on the dress vibe so this i thrifted both of these items actually and they're both kind of like a tweed material so you can see that this is literally from Shein and I thrifted it because I really liked the fabric however the actual make of the garment is really 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 cheap so as you can see the zipper is very visible it's not dyed to match so in a more expensive brand you would get a zipper tape you would cover it and there would not be all of this you can see everything that's going on with this garment it's not lined and there's this inside little puff moment with this mesh and it's very cheap like and I was torn about maybe buying it or not because the construction is so poor but it fits so well and the actual fabric is super nice so I have it but like I don't think this is a forever piece in my closet that I'm never gonna get rid of it was just kind of like oh I thrifted it it was like ten dollars and it was worth it for that but I would never never buy this new especially Shein is just like, terrible and that's a whole different thing but and the finish is not that great like it's just turned back like sewn down 
down like I don't know it's it's really if it didn't fit me so well and the fabric wasn't nice I would never have bought this is what I'm saying and the reason that it was so cheap and it's like very Shein y you know is because it's not lined so this one is from theory I did thrift this okay don't look too close because like um, I need to get it dry cleaned but it's a little dirty but okay whatever who cares you can see in here it's fully lined so there's no you don't see all the crazy construction the fabric is really nice and heavy and it's just very clean lines now I actually hemmed this myself <laughs> it is like totally not visible because it was like a blind hem stitch you know so I mean I actually did this so it's not very good <laughs> but you get the picture also it's lined and it has like a little tack here so just like a nice construction detail there's a side zipper you know the fit is really beautiful it has the darts and it's very clean and just like stunning. So this was probably like originally like a $300 dress, maybe $250. And this was probably like $15. And because of the construction, you can tell. I also pulled this dress as like also kind of a visual on how things like are cheaper at Zara versus designer. And this dress, you can see the smocking is here, but it's not fluid. So in a higher end brand or something that isn't quite this like off the rack vibes, the smocking would be added to the garment instead of sewn if it has a seam that this is like an inserted smocking detail versus smocked after sewing it up and then just a little bit more from my designer side i always want to have like a binding or some kind of piping to cover up things like this so you can completely see the raw edge and you know it's like not a pretty detail so higher end brands or just more designed companies unlike zara like care about that look so if you see something without a tag and you can see all the edges and like the in inserts and stuff, like it's probably not that expensive. This dress is super, super nice. And you can tell because one, it's like doubled. So fully lined with the self fabrication. If this were to be a cheaper or less expensive brand, this is All Saints. It would just have the inside binding here and it would just be like folded back similar to how it is in the back here. So it would have just been like that all around the top, but it's so pretty and nice because it has that like very clean situation in the front here so I literally am obsessed also like look at the workmanship like it's so well done in such high quality also it has all these different straps and they're adjustable so if it were to be a cheaper brand that there would probably not be this adjustable situation because that is a cost and then they also did like four straps versus two and yeah so there's that also I believe it's cut on the bias so it drapes really really well and when things are not cut on the bias, they don't really hug your body as well. So when I look for slip dresses and sl slip skirts and stuff, I always wanna make sure like when it's on, it hangs super beautifully because it's cut on the bias. So something to kind of look at. And you can just tell because of like how pretty it's draping, right? And also this fabric is just like really, really nice. And I actually got this at dirt cheap for like, who knows, but it was super on sale. I don't think this is silk or anything. Yeah, it's just polyester, but it does drape super, super well. Okay, so there's that. I also pulled this tank top because it's from Intermix. And just like the reason, it was like so expensive. I think it was like almost $300 for this tank top. I got it, you know, a sample sale, but there is so much going on here. There's all these buttons up the front. And when you open this up, there is like a full top underneath that has princess seams and is very fitted. Whereas if this was from somewhere like H&M, it probably would just be straight with like a dart situation and then uh, on the top of it all of this gorgeous embroidery so oftentimes you'll see like somewhat of details like this at places like H&M and Zara they aren't this hefty if you will like you can see the embroidery is actually very filled in there's just um, a lot going on there's also like cutouts within like right here you can see so these are laser cut out and that's another huge thing also this isn't an all over eyelet situation. It's like a place engineered specific to each top size, everything print. And then it has like this border when a sample or style has like a border on it, it's going to be more expensive because they have to specifically place their patterns to the edge and they can't just like place it all in the middle. So oftentimes if there's a border to something, it'll be a little bit more expensive because of the yield of the fabric that's used. So keeping that in mind, also in general, it's just like made super, super well. These straps are perfectly pressed and ironed and it's just like very simple, but when you really break it down, it's really, really nice. So that's why it was so expensive and that's why I freaking love it. So cute. Another item that's expensive and high quality, this is Ted Baker. I got it for 10 bucks at Goodwill. I haven't worn it, as you can see. I got it last summer. 
Anyway, so the reason that this is expensive is because one, there's this whole scallop edge detail. We have like this little insert here with the V and the straps are adjustable. So that's like a really nice option and something that is done on higher end stuff versus like a Zara or whatever. And also the way that they finished it, instead of it just being like raw edged, you know, being like binding to cover that up and make it very clean and pretty. Also it's 100% silk, little drapey moment. So that's why. That's why that was expensive and a great deal for $10 to get something like this that was probably retailed at like 150 even though it's a tiny little cami, right? It's a tiny little cami. There's all those little details that make it expensive. This top is super expensive. Also, if a brand has like buttons and stuff in the tag, high end, right? This is from Tory Burch. I got it at a sample sale. 100% silk. Wow, it's super nice. It's like a silk twill. Wow, yeah. No, it's very expensive. You can see the fabric up close. It's like a very light and airy silk twill. Very, very well made, first of all. The bow tie is actually removable, which is a detail you don't see often. See how it's also finished really nicely here. It's kind of hard to tell, but it has like an entire placket happening. So this is a very expensive detail. It goes all the way down. These buttons are expensive. They're probably like a freaking dollar or two dollars each, like maybe even more. I don't know. But that's so expensive and like it's such a high cost. Also, they're on the sleeve cuff. So oftentimes you'll see brands not have as nice of buttons on the placket and cuff or just do no cuff and just do elastic. So having this whole construction here is really, really nice. There's just like a lot going on here, obviously. And there's an entire back yoke. Something cheaper would just be like maybe some shirring in the back or nothing at all, just completely plain. And there's just like a lot of design details going on, you know, with the shirt tail moment. It has like a really pretty side situation happening. It's just like super, super well made. It's like a stunning, like this is gonna be my closet forever type of thing. So this jacket was a little bit more expensive because one, the weight of fabric also takes a huge factor. So like outerwear and stuff is obviously more durable, dense, heavier weight versus like chambray button down would be way cheaper than something like this it's a, like a denim jacket outerwear because the fabric costs however it also has pockets so that was a cost in itself to do the pocket bag and all that stuff the buttons are really nice and heavy duty they have stitch lines and everything it's very you know well made in that aspect two buttons on the cuff they have the the pleat detail so that's why this was a little bit more expensive and high quality and i just love this jacket anyway versus something like this was probably retailed like way cheaper even though it kind of has like the same end game the fabric is lighter there's not as many details to it it doesn't have you know pockets buttons are just regular shell plastic just a little bit more simplistic if you will this is something that is super expensive. I got this from Veronica Beard. It's like a brand that I'm obsessed with always. But the reason this was a little bit more expensive is one, the buttons are big. There is like this extra trim all around the neckline, down the front, each pocket. There's four pockets versus maybe one or two with the trim. So if something were to be like to get the cost down, you would remove the trim from here. You probably wouldn't do trim. Like it would be a lot more simple. Also, this is really nice because it has like a really pretty lining and the fabric alone is like very expensive because you can see, I'm sure they pitched their own colors to the vendor versus just buying it as is. And there's the Lurex in it, all the different colors. Like it's so stunning. So that's why this is a little bit more expensive and it, it just has like a lot of make to it. Like there's three buttons on each cuff. The trim is on the cuff. It has princess seams that gives it that shape that makes it fitted having these seams as well. It's just gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So that's why this one was expensive. Something like this one doesn't have any lining. It's very simple. It's tiny, obviously, but it just like, you know, doesn't have buttons on the sleeves and it's just like a puff and the fabric isn't as nice. Like it's definitely poly. And yeah, again, with the lining, like it's not lined so you can see the raw edge. And this was just like an easier brand. And then the back, it does have the seams, but it's just like a more simple situation here. Keeping along the jacket route. So I was looking for a trench coat forever and I'm gonna do a spring haul soon. I'm just waiting for the, my pants and my shoes to get in and then I will do like a full spring haul like talking about everything. I also want to do a trends video soon so I'm going to be working on those things tonight. Anyway, this jacket I finally got a trench coat. The reason this is from Mango and initially you think Mango, why would anyone spend like $200 there? You should go somewhere nicer. But guys, it's literally made so well. It has so many details and this is why I knew it was worth the cost because 
all the construction and details so is one we have a lot of button details so there's this beautiful cuff situation so that's a detail that would have just been non-existent it would there wouldn't have been cuffs on it there's also this s what are these called epaulette there's an epaulette here really cute detail it would have just been plain to cut the cost also it's very traditional so it goes all the way buttons all the way up also i just like the buttons i think they're really nice and it's fully lined and they finished it really beautifully having this piping detail there's extra buttons inside high quality wise like is there a spare button the only thing that i think is not very cute is this little like hook situation here i don't think that silver was the best option i wish it was like dyed to match or something but it does have like all of the very traditional aspects to it like this the cuff the espadrille or the epaulettes in the back it has like this beautiful curve like vented thing it's very traditional you know and it's just like a really pretty pretty coat and i love all of the little details i actually have this linked on my ltk probably by the time this is up so check it out if you want to buy it but yeah it's expensive it was like two something but it's very high quality and really nice so you don't have to shop super high-end brands to get quality like it is nice to look at something and know like oh is this quality or not so that's that i'll skip past coat for timing maybe i'll do like a winter version later if you guys like this video so these pants are from h&m very chill cargoes the fabric is not 100 percent linen so that's you know a huge cost effect it's like poly or whatever but it does have an actual real life like zipper button a lot of these have elastic bands which are just a cheaper construction and make it like more casual so that's why it was a little bit more expensive for h&m but it's really high quality there's pockets in the back pockets on the side and in the front so all these different pockets and details make it higher cost and yeah these are really cute pants versus more traditional pants which these are fully lined have a blind hem so that's an expensive construction to do the belt loops are here and there's they're doubled so that's an expensive cost the finishing detail is also just like super super nice they have the binding all around as well as lining so that's a high cost these are from and Taylor and I remember them being I thrifted them but I remember like these are like an expensive you know dressy pants looking at skirts so this is a cheaper version of this so the reason this was a little bit more expensive is one there's a metal exposed zipper in comparison to this one which is a blind zipper that you can't see the fabrics obviously are a huge factor but this is not lined so you can see here that it's all exposed you can see everything going on you know and it's just like a cheaper quality it does have the blind hem which is nice so this is really cute I, I mean i just like loved this pattern whereas this one has these functional not faked out pockets at the front there's like leather um welt fabric used separately fully lined so that makes it you know really clean and beautiful and not exposed and such and it's just like made super super well and you can tell like the difference but at first glance like they're the same skirt but like they're not the same skirt you know what i mean okay not prep pattern and fabric wise but silhouette okay <laughs> speaking of skirts these slip skirts so this one is more expensive than this this is 100 percent silk i actually did a partnership this is from daisy silk i don't think my code will work anymore but this is made super super well it's fully lined so again anything lined is going to be more expensive you're doubling your fabric it is cheaper fabric but it's still you know a cost i really like this one and i need to not put those hangers on these things because like i literally have hanger dents now it has the wider waistband here which is just like a nice flattering way to do this and the lining and you know it's very clean and pretty and also 100 percent silk whereas this one is cheaper i got it from mango and it was still like 70 bucks or something but this one's like two it has a cheaper waistband detail the elastic band is smaller it doesn't have lining and it's not silk it's like poly so that's how this one was cheaper but i mean obviously i still like it so whatever and then we have pants so these are from mango and these are from j crew i got these super on sale but these are super nice because there's a lot more details to them also the fabric is literally stunning or viscose like so pretty let me see striping on there oh the sun is starting to set okay viscose cupro Cupro? I actually don't know what Cupro is. 
Anyway, besides the point, so these are not lined because they're more of a summer pant. You can see that it's made, like the construction is really, really nice. It has two, what are these called? I'm losing brain cells. It has two closures, two closure details. They're metal, which is really nice. It has a button, which is just like normal construction to have the hidden button here so that it you know, closes. But I also just like this detail of like, the angled waistband detail and the fact that it has my favorite thing which is the piping or like binding like to cover up the you know nastiness and not expose that also the waistbands made super well because it is sewn down it has like a facing on it and you know it has pockets in the back and the front all functional and yeah so she's just like a really gorgeous pant got a super good deal and i just like love the print on that and then these my camera's dying <laughs> and then these are a little bit cheaper and you can tell because one there's one closure there's no button to close it as well so it's just you know a zipper and one closure and then it doesn't have like any gorgeous piping or any anything like that it's just very basic no waistband just kind of flipped over facing it does have pockets on the sides there's no pockets in the back and the fabric is cheaper. Uh, I think it's just like 100% polyester or something like that. Zip up detail is cheaper in comparison to this one. Yes, see. Okay. So those are pants. And then I honestly like think I'm going to call it a day. Let me know if you liked this. I can get into like sweaters, jeans, like whatever. But I just kind of wanted to tap my toes into this one and see how you guys liked it. So again, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm here to teach you. I'm here to help you educate you on sustainability, understanding clothes, like understanding how to make good decisions as a consumer to get clothes that last a long time, figure out how to get them cheaper than, you know, super right off the rack or whatever. I love doing that stuff. I love just talking about fashion and I hope you guys loved this video. My life is still a little bit crazy right now. We are down people at work. I'm full time in fashion design and things are just a little bit crazy. So I do try to post every week, but if I miss a week, check me out on Instagram. I post stories every day, my outfits, what I'm wearing, what I'm talking about. I'll be trying to post more on my reels and my TikToks and stuff. I know TikTok might be getting banned, but so make sure to subscribe. Again, like I said, check out some of my videos. Let me know what you think about this video, this type of vibe, like a little bit more educational, you know? And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.